Alrighty, so today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Optimus Prime. Found this guy at my local Walmart and along with Drift, so I got a Drift video coming too for you guys. And I'm super excited. I've been looking for him in Drift for a while. Um, ever since they were spotted at retail a couple weeks ago and hadn't been able to find them. And lo and behold, when Walmart, they had restocked a bunch of stuff, Transformers, uh, Marvel Legends, some, some Star Wars Black stuff, and there was Prime and Drift, so I snatched him up. Uh, real quick, we'll take a look at him in his packaging. He is in the, the new Robots in Disguise packaging with a nice Transformers here on the side, Robots in Disguise up here in the corner. Some nice artwork of Prime in the corner over here. Really like the way that looks. That's cool. Nice clamshell showing off the figure itself and take it around the back we've got our product shots and we've got our transformation instructions over here nine steps from robot to truck and that's about it no bio on these guys you got your little mobile app stuff here where you can scan a little uh, sticker and unlock something in the game and a whole bunch of legal stuff down here so we're gonna, oh, and this side's got more of that nice artwork. I really like the way this looks. My son and I watched the premiere episode of Robots in Disguise when it was on, and he loved it, and I actually really enjoyed it as well. It was much better than I was anticipating, and I really did like the animation in it. So, we're gonna crack this guy open and take a closer look at Warrior Class Optimus Prime. All right, so here we have Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Optimus Prime opened up and out of his packaging. And as you can see, he is a truck uh, with his trailer. It's all one piece. Now, uh, it's I'll go off, off the bat and say it's not the greatest alt mode ever. This being a basically a deluxe class truck with the trailer all in one piece. You know, you can look at this and see, you know, here's his feet hanging down here. But, um, you know, it is not big either. He does have all his wheels. They're just unpainted plastic and everything rolls like they're supposed to. Um, the, the cab of the truck is red. He's got that uh, sticker that you scan for the mobile game up here that ends up on top of the cab there. The front of the truck. The headlights are nicely painted blue. That's cool. The grill looks good. Windshield looks nice. <clears throat> Uh, the trailer is mostly blue. We got some red in here. Some nice molded detailing in here, but nothing, nothing super fantastic, really. Come around to the back, and you can probably make out that that's going to be his feet in robot mode, especially if you take the truck and stand it up like that. Yeah, there's Optimus kind of standing up. But anyways, there's the other side of the truck. Now you may have noticed there's a big old stinking gap in the trailer. Now, you've got a couple of little tabs here and here. You can fill this in kinda. Um, you take his axe that he comes with, which is actually really nicely detailed if you ask me. I really like the axe, it looks cool. I like the, the color they used here. But if you look here on the handle, you got little notches here. So, a little notch is here. So you can take the axe and set it right in there. That sort of pegs in there. And then line this up. And make sure everything stays pegged together. And this should peg in right there. Oh, come on. And you did this just fine earlier. There we go. And you can store the axe there. Now it does give him this piece of the axe sticking up on top, but it does fill that in a little bit. But if you look on the bottom, it's, you know, that big old gaping hole again. And of course you can see a whole lot more robot stuff underneath. So it's, you know, as an alt mode, honestly, it's, it's, it's lacking. It suffers in alt mode, in my opinion. Definitely not one of the better Optimus Primes in alt mode. Um, for comparison, here he is with the rest of the Autobot gang. So here you see him with Bumblebee. Here we have Strong Arm. And here we got 
Grimlock. So, and again, all being warrior class, you know, they don't exactly scale in this mode at all. I mean, look, strong arm and Optimus here. Strong arm is probably bulkier than Prime. And you got Bumblebee and Optimus. So, you know, it is what it is. I do wish that he was a larger figure. I personally think Optimus should always be at least Voyager size. But hey, it is what it is. So, transformation. Let's go ahead and pull the axe out of here. Transformation's really pretty simple. Uh, we're gonna come up here. We're gonna take the panel here, pop that off, fold it down. Same thing on this side. Pop this panel off, and they'll just peg in down there on the sides. Come up here, we're gonna split the truck in half and fold them down and go ahead and rotate those. We're gonna take what would be his waist here, rotate it 180, and move the camera up a little bit. Go ahead and split his legs. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna unpeg this and rotate it down, pull this down. Rotate the arm and flip this over to be a shoulder pad. Same thing on this side. Unpeg here, rotate, slide this down, flip that over. Okay. Now his head's tucked right in there. We're going to come in here and flip it up. And here you have Warrior Class Optimus Prime in his robot mode. So. Again, I mean, it's a deluxe, and it's just not a big deluxe at that. So it has the deluxe problems you're going to get in a Optimus Prime that's trying to be a big old truck with a trailer. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Now, the head sculpt looks pretty nice, but if you ask me, the head looks small on his body. I mean, I understand why it's that size, because of the transformation, how it folds up into the body like that but I think the head needs to be a little bigger. Um, the red looks nice, nice shades of red in his shoulders, his chest, that looks good. The, the fake uh, windshield chest looks nicely painted. The arms are blue, as they normally are with Optimus. His legs are blue, as they usually are. The feet are black. Gray legs, got some black up in here. So, I, I like the design of this Optimus. I just really wish he was a bigger size. I just really wish he was a Voyager. I think they could have done something really cool with this design, much like they did with the Transformers Prime version, the, f the first edition version. So, I mean, maybe we'll get lucky down the line and we'll get one, but it doesn't seem like we're going to. So, um, articulation, the head will rotate, but not all the way, because this faceplate gets stuck here. So it goes that far left and right. Shoulders, they can go in and out because of transformation, but it kind of looks funky. Um, they will rotate all the way. You got a ball joint at the elbow so you can rotate and bend. You got a waist swivel. Hips will go forward, they'll go back that much, they'll go in and out. Rotate at the thigh, bend at the knee that much. And that is it for articulation. So not, not horrible, but not great. There's nothing Nothing from the knee down. It's all just one big chunk of plastic. Now you can take his axe and he can hold that right there. And I, I do like that. I think that looks cool. But because of the way this is designed up here with the shoulders, the only way to get his arms to swing out is to move at that transformation joint. And then you get that kind of thing going on, which I personally think looks funky. So you have that. All right, for comparison in robot mode, here he is with the rest of his Autobots. We've got Bumblebee. We've got Strongarm. And we've got Grimlock. Let's see if we can get them all in frame here. So there you can see how he scales in terms of uh, robot mode. And again, 
I come back to Optimus should be a Voyager size. Bumblebee is just about the same size as Prime. I mean, shoot, Bumblebee is almost even taller. I mean, it is taller than Grimlock, honestly. So I honestly, would lo I'd love to see Voyagers of Grimlock and Optimus. I love Grimlock. Grimlock's a great figure. I just love to see him bigger. Same with Optimus. I love the design. I really like the way they've designed him in terms of his aesthetic. I just really want to see him bigger. Just a Voyager class Optimus Prime. That's all I really want. Give me that Hasbro. A Voyager class Optimus Prime with the robots in disguise design. Please, 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 please. Um, you know, as far as these four go, I still gotta say Grimlock's my favorite, then Bumblebee followed by Optimus and Strongarm. Optimus is kinda really close to trail up the rear with Strongarm in terms of my least favorite of the Autobots. So, get these guys out of here. So there you have it, the Transformers Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Optimus Prime. He's hitting shelves now. Um, if you like the cartoon, if you're picking up this line, I mean, it's Optimus. I'd, I'd add him to my collection. If you're still on the fence about this line, he's not going to change your mind. He's just, that's the way it is. Um, if you're being real picky, stick with Grimlock and Bumblebee. Skip Optimus. So, there you have it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Lots of cool things coming for you guys. See you soon.